All right, and we're back and set up another fight. This time it's in the State Palace Theater. It's De La Hoya versus Chavez. Again, I'm on the left side of the screen. I guess that's blue corner. Yeah, I'm in blue corner. It's De La Hoya, and I'm going up against the CPU who's playing as Chavez. Hopefully, this is this will turn out to be a better fight than the uh, Leonard Robinson conflict, which ended sourly in my eyes. Uh, which ended kind of sour. I didn't get salty. Well, I got sort of got salty, but you know that's beyond the point. Anyway, let's get back to the fight. And again, I'm just it's just me playing, you know, some random matches. I guess the computer I'm not doing a story mode because uh, well, because I can't fucking beat it. <laughs> But, you know, that's another story. So, I could play the story mode for you guys, but it, it wouldn't be, like, you know, full circle because I can't beat the damn, you know, boss of the game. Hi, everybody. So, so glad you're with hard. us. Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome they you to the New you. Orleans Let's State see. Palace Let's see. Theater. Let's see. Our main event should be a so good one tonight. Get him by A. 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 Between the Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, and Julio Cesar Chavez. I like being on a fight night round three. Badass. He's like fast as hell. What if he's still fast? But, uh, I think uh, I like the uh, full spectrum push control more so than the. Uh, I don't know. This is, uh, I think this is called a. Uh, like total punch or something. I like the. Uh, Control set up in Fight Night Round 3 and 4 versus this. You know, the shortcut method, which I thought was kind of cheap. I like the uh, old school method where you just have to actually like, uh, do the motions, go through the motions just all to right, do the move. Protect yourself at all times. Like, oh, just pop this Let's in, touch pop that up. out. No. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round 1 underway. Teddy, I oh, see many oh, times shell. in your career you were instructing a fighter that yeah, was going to that. face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to oh, think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yeah, yourself gonna, to work your way out. in. I Turtles. remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Double jab by Julio Sanders. Oh, that's got to hurt. Son of a bitch. Say it, I'm going to go for a... Uh, oh, that's I guess. Say, fuck. Every time I go for like a damn power punch, he's like, uh, no. Every time he goes for one, he's like, oh, it goes in automatic there. Yeah, I can fucking see you. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good I'll put on the floor because the damn computer doesn't job, get tired. <laughs> yeah, lame as that. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Nice strike after catching one by Oscar De La Hoya. Keep your hands off. Game Ahoy is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Halfway through round number one. Chavez is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Teddy, this has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match. Yeah, this is a Bobby <laughs> Fischer-type fight. No <laughs> doubt about that. It's a matter of who moves their pawn. And each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Just like just like Locks away that headshot. It's like you can't rush him. Well, you can't rush him down, Teddy, but it's like very the, uh, early moments. How much awkward. in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the bottom? Very much because it sets up things later on and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. 
They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joel, if this keeps up, they're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He gets off with a combination up top. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Wow, what an uppercut. Round yeah, comes to an round. end. We saw the knockdown yeah, the there in that knockdown. round. A little bit of a momentum game. Yeah, yeah, see how that damage on Chavez? But you know see how that fucking damage on Chavez? I did the shit though. Killer, believe it or not. I, how so? Joe, I've had guys yeah. where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only yeah, the punch they landed, not fixed, how they set it up. So they got away from the game. Beat shit. I want another and round yeah, he's still exactly fucking winning. like that. This is your fight, all right? You're in complete control of this fight. Do not fight his fight. Yeah, I'm just trying to survive, man. De La Hoya's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcome it before? Also, his corner. Okay, Did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? Hunting with the left. He lands the uppercut on the back end of a left hook upstairs. That's a good probing jab that time by Julio Cesar Chavez. Flush right hand to the body. Get inside. Stop being chicken. With a left. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Backing up, man. Backing up. Back him into a corner. Back his ass to a corner. The golden boy has always had a great hook, and he shows yeah, it no. off there. Dave LaHoya is showing Come you on, that he's up, fuck him up. skill right now with that two-punch combo. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. I know you can do it. Okay, get to the hand. You getting tired, You getting tired? Come on. And another right hand comes in. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. De La Hoya swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Keep moving. Keep moving. Say that dude once, he does it twice. Well, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. De La Hoya is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Oscar. Fucking Dale. hell. Boy, has been hurt by that shot. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Good job with another left hand. Son of a bitch. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Like, can you see me? I can see you. Dave Hoyas up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look at all that fucking damage in his ass. In the coming moments of this fight, combo lands to the head. Come on, man. He missed with that headshot. Come on, stay in it, stay in it. Don't get angry, don't get angry. That's what he wants, man. That's what he wants. Once you get mad, once you get mad, come on. Do it. On the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Oh, and there's a big right hand from the Golden Boy. Off the target by the Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. And that's the end of round two. Well, we've seen this before, a fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, he was gambling, shot, and he was in a casino. He's rolling the dice. He's hoping to come up with See, seven. See, dude's all fucked up over there. I'm barely even damaged, and I'm still losing. What the hell? But, no, I'm not getting salty. I'm not getting salty. 
son of a bitch. Dave Ahoya's corner is probably wondering what the answer is. So far, they haven't had it. Starting yet another round, coming off yet another round when he was knocked down. And now they're trading blows. Off target with that hey, hook. Keep blocking, keep blocking. Come on. Keep moving. <sighs> keep moving. And he just holds on there. Oscar De La Hoya's rush. Did you Son see of a that? Bitch. How is this gonna go on once again? He hits the deck. Well, he's getting back and at it. Yeah, so it was second out. fight. One, I'm fucking get up. Two, three, four, Come on. five, six, seven. Dave Hoya's shaky right now. He survived the knockdown, but I don't know if he can take much more. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Well timed by Oscar De La Hoya. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Back and forth exchange. Back into a corner. Back into a corner. Come on. You gotta get this shit. You gotta get this shit. Come on. Come on. Little head knocking with that right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Chavez is giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past him. Super two-punch combo by Julio Cesar Chavez. Big, big... Yeah, motherfucker. ...crashing home. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad All right, thing for his opponent. Four more because to go. he got Kalas here. That's the funny thing about this game. Chavez is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. But what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Dave Ahoy is intent there. Damn! That was a big shot that Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, we try and we two, fail. <laughs> so, three, four, epically. Five, six, yeah, he's... Seven, eight, nine, ah, fuck, he's down. Ten. Shit. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Oscar De La Hoya is not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Yet the guy who's not fucked up loses the fight. <laughs> Boxing writers are gonna have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy Look at this shit. and tons of power punches at 35. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. <sighs> one is that obviously his How technique was not right, and that came from training three, camp. Seven, but the eight. other <laughs> is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. There was you no just throw power punches him, for days and, and they get fucking stuck. tired, man. That does it from ringside for bullshit. Teddy Atlas. I'm Joe Tessitore. That is Thanks bullshit. for being with us. Alright, well, I gotta set the next fight for you guys, so just uh, chill for a minute, alright?